Hello, my name is Kira. Today I'll be talking and showing you my social experiment. First, I'm going to explain what the scientific method is. We use this every day to look for lost items like phones, water bottles, wallets, etc., conducting experiments, and loads more. These are step the steps to the scientific method. Number one, think of a question. Number two, search for background information. Number three, make a hypothesis. Number four, conduct an experiment. Number five, analyze your data. Number six, write conclusions. Number seven, evaluate your data. These are the steps I had to go through to conduct my experiment. My experiment was based on social behavior. In my experiment, I made a mystery box and carried it around with me in the playground. I put various things inside. Erasers, dice, sweets, pencil sharpenings, and loads more. I tried to make it feel a little gruesome so the people that put their hands inside would feel a little bit more scared. I said to them that they could be anything inside. I asked them if they would do it or not. Based on their replies, I recorded my results. My graph shows that in grade one, we don't have much, much courage at all. Then it increases by a lot when you go into grade two. Then, for some reason, your courage decreases when you enter grade three. Furthermore, when you enter grade four, your courage level increases. Finally, when you enter grade five, your courage level decreases. I found a little pattern in this experiment, as you can see in the graph. Your courage increases, then decreases, increases, then decreases. Since I only tested four to five people for each grade, I might not have enough data to say my experiment is accurate. In my hypothesis, I said that when you're older, you might not have as much courage as compared to when you're younger. But according to my results, your courage level goes up and down, so my hypothesis wasn't exactly correct. Thank you for watching. Created using Powtoon.